Good morning, or whatever time it is in the world for you. So, in today's video, um, I am doing something. This is behind the scenes stuff. I was actually just working, and um, I was like, you know what? <clears throat> Let me pop in. And I know you guys didn't get a video earlier this week just because this is my release weekend. And let me tell y'all, I've been busting my butt. So, as you see, I got candles here. These are part of my uh, cozy autumn release. For those of you who have shopped it, I want to thank you so, so, so very much. And there is still lots of stuff. So, if you want to get your hands on some of these goodies, um, they are in the shop right now. I am going to try my best to put this video up today. But, yeah, I decided to come in and show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes. Um, it's kind of like... A mixture of everything so yeah I'm just cutting the wicks on these candles I made these last night um this one here is vanilla pumpkin latte this one nope this one is <laughs> velvety vanilla that's what this one is so I've never made a vanilla candle but I was like you know it's high time that I did so um that's what I got here and then this one I have is called I haven't taken the wick bar off yet but this one's called cedar blossom it's just oh it's such a beautiful heady mix I actually blend that one myself if I sound a little raspy it is pretty early right now so I just had my morning coffee I got so much stuff to do guys but I just decided to get on down here and get cracking so happy Sunday to you um and thanks for joining in for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Kenny I am Kenny the messy soaper that's what I go by but um yeah just I kind of been wanting to do a behind the scenes type of video and this is not gonna be a full on one you know this is just me saying okay let me pop in and do a little bit um and I don't really want this video to be running super long I'm just taking alcohol and cleaning up a little bit of wax that has spilled on the sides um uh, yeah just come in a little bit chat with y'all because why not but yeah I am just so grateful to those of you who have just been all over this autumn release and this release is so special to me because I have some brand new products I mean all of my releases have brand new products but this one is very different from what I have ever done before and I worked so very hard on it um, but I kind of I wanted to create an experience you know like a spa experience for you at home or wherever you may be I guess it travels well um, I formulated it so that you can take it if you want to go on a, a mini vacay or you know get away a weekend getaway you could take it with you but um, I'll be showing you that a little bit later so I'm just going to go ahead and finish tidying up these candles and then we'll move on to the next product. I'll show you some of the new stuff that I have. But I know a lot of people ask for me to show my candle making. I may do a video but I just found that when I did make, I did, I think I did two, it really didn't get very many views. I mean, I mean it got views but not as many as I thought you know because people were asking so I was just like well what's the purpose of doing it but yeah I may make another one but um yeah so this is just how I tidy up my candles you know after I make them um these wicks here just did not work for me and I'm all about tr trying to give you guys the best possible quality that I can and if I see there's a flaw then it's extra work on me but I'm gonna fix it if I can so um, I found as I was going these wicks just were not working for me during the testing process so I nixed them and um, I know what they're for when I read and that's the good thing about testing and the good thing about doing your research before you take on any product because it'll save you a lot of time even though like the, the manufacturers may tell you that it does a certain thing or work a certain way you still have to test because if you don't you just kind of end up wasted. 
so yeah um i know what these uh wicks will work for but they don't work for these they just burn a little bit too hot so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff tightened up and put away and then um we'll move on to the next thing So basically, what I'm doing now, you know, I'm the messy helper, <laughs> which brings me to being the messy candle maker too. And also, I mean, I didn't make a mess. I just want to be sure that there's no fingerprints or anything on your candles when you purchase them. So I like to wipe them down with a soapy towel and then dry them off so they're nice and fingerprint free. And um, I just make them more presentable in my eyes. I just, I know some things like my family, like you just overkill. <laughs> but I don't know. I always just try to think of when I make a product and I look at the finished product, I always say to myself, will I buy that? No. Is that something that I would buy? Um, and if I say no, then I'm definitely not going to give it to you all. So it's just a little extra touches that I do that makes a big difference to me. And I know that it's appreciated by you. So while I'm doing this, I'll talk about some other candle products that we have. Um, I do have, I said the vanilla pumpkin latte. I do have a candle that's a uh, vanilla pumpkin latte, which is here. And I just love this one so very much. Look how beautiful that vessel is. So gorgeous. And it smells, it smells so good. Just me hold, like holding it towards me. I can smell it. it. Smells beautiful. I'm a big fan of this one. Um, I love pumpkin season. Pumpkin season is right up my alley. But I don't like to do like just a solid pumpkin. I don't think I did a solid pumpkin anything. Uh, most of my pumpkins are blended. Um, and I didn't do a lot of pumpkins this year either. But I did, <laughs> I did do a pumpkin soap. Oh my gosh. You guys will see that video. But I'll give you a sneak peek of one of them. Because I'm still, even though the release is up and running... I still have packaging to do so that's what I'm gonna spend today doing that's why I figured you know I'd let you guys see a little bit of what's going on behind the scenes um, I don't think I'm gonna show too much packaging I'll show a little bit but not too much because that takes time and like I said I don't want this video to be super long just because I got a lot of stuff to do and I want to keep the editing to a minimum and I know a lot of people say don't edit your videos just post them girl no <laughs> Because sometimes I can't walk away from the camera and forget that I'm filming. So you just have like dead air. <laughs> and nobody wants to sit and listen to me fumble around in the background. But, um, yeah. So I got these wax tarts. Let me tell you about my wax tarts. I don't know about y'all, but I love a wax tart. Me personally, I like wax tarts. Um... No, I was about to say I like wax tarts better than I like candles. I like them both, but I like the convenience of a wax tart because um, you just pop them in and of course you have to keep an eye on them, but you don't have to pay as close attention. And let me tell y'all, so this cinnamon baklava wax tart right here, this comes in a pack of six and they're little bitty bunt cakes wax tarts. And these are so cute because when you melt them, they have all this pretty shimmer. Um, I wish I had a wax melter down here. I'll show you one. But they have this beautiful shimmer that release all this gold swirly color. Beautiful. And one, let me tell you the power of this one little bunt cake right here. This one little bunt cake. Like, my house is, I would say mid-size. It's not small. It's not big. Not in my opinion. But, um, one wax tart. It does my entire middle floor i can smell it in my studio down here and you can smell it upstairs as well so one little wax tart packs a huge punch so i have i didn't do a whole lot i did the cinnamon baklava wax tarts and then i did um a pomegranate a uh, wax tart too so this one is quite strong um so if you don't like very very strong fragrances you can i would say cut it in half let it burn for about 20 minutes 
then you know turn it off and just let the residual smell kind of walk through your house or if you like a strong one you know just put the whole thing in it is definitely going to scent up your entire life <laughs> because it was the one that he I always make extras because Gabe is like a huge fan of wax tarts so um the pomegranate that he put in I had to like okay can you turn that off <laughs> Just because I was testing candles and I couldn't smell anything other than the pomegranate. So that bad boy is strong. So, um, let me show you my other pumpkin can. I adore these so much. So this is my most favorite candle out of my entire collection. This one here. I love this because it's a pumpkin. It is the most beautiful copper pumpkin I have laid my eyes on. <laughs> I love this. And it's like, um, I forget what that look is called. If you guys know what that's called, I know what it is, but I just can't think of it off the top of my head where it's like the little speckled glass. But it is just so adorable. And this is a 16 ounce candle, which is one pound. And this one is pumpkin oud. So it's pumpkin and woody and earthy. Almost gives you the vibe of bonfire, a slightly pumpkin scented bonfire. It just puts you right in the mood for autumn. I love this so freaking much. Now, I didn't make a lot of these, so if you want one of these, get your hands on them because it's a very small quantity of these. But and they come with a beautiful wooden wick, so you'll have that crackling sound when you light them. And then I'm going to show you this pumpkin soap. And I'm going to clear all this out. And then we'll do some packaging. Matter of fact, I'm going to clear all this out. And then I'll come back and we'll do some packaging. So now it is, I think, after one. No, it's 12.32. So I've just kind of gone off and put my lids, well, my my cloth lids. I love cloth lids on, cam <laughs> on camera. That's what I'm talking about. I love cloth lids on my candles. They just look so good. Um, I don't do my tans like that because they do come with lids. But I like to have a dust cover on my candles. And I want them to be pretty. So this is the way this one's looking. And obviously, I do not know the names of my own products that I created. Because <laughs> earlier I told you guys, this is called Cedar Blossom. It is not. It is called Cashmere Blossom Cedar Blossom is one of the notes uh, in the blend that I created for this. Lord of me. And it was really early. And the other one I called it, um, I don't know, Vanilla Velvet or something like that. But it's called, uh, I mean, I called it something else, but it's actually called Velvet Vanilla. Yeah. So it was early. Forgives. So I just took the time to put all my dust covers on and then I created my labels, which are right here so this is what she looks like all put together I think this is adorbs and I even made these for come on camera focus there we go I made these for this candle here so you get something like that and then the other one is off in the corner which it has the same label shape like this one. And if you're wondering how I cut these, I don't buy them. I create them myself and I cut them with my Cricut machine. So it makes beautiful, beautiful labels. And the program that I use to create my labels is Canva Pro. Um, I actually do pay for it. So you get a lot more templates. If you do have a business and you want to save time on, uh, trying to figure out a template and things like that um like the the shapes did I, yeah i did some of the shapes yeah the templates actually for all of these i use their templates so it is absolutely worth it trust me i'm telling you it'll save you a headache in the end um i also have a subscription to pick monkey as well but i tend to go to canva mostly when i want to make oh See, that's what I get. This is why I don't do behind the scenes <laughs> videos because I'm putting the wrong label on there. Let me move those out of the way. But um, yeah, I tend to use Canva just because they have a larger selection. But there's certain things that I can do with Canva that I can't do with PicMonkey and vice versa. So that's why I have them both. They both um, really help me along in business. Now, I just need an extra hand. All right. So, um... That's what I'm doing 
now just tying these on so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that I know I said when I come back I would be doing soaps but I figured you guys would want to see this the finished product of these so these are in the shop right now um, this is my second set there's a uh, set in the shop that's already listed and curing out well curing out cured out and candles don't really have to have a cure time but I like to just to make sure that the scent is nice and melted in there and you're gonna get a nice hot and cold throw so the cold throw on these are amazing right now and if you're wondering what a cold throw is a cold throw is how your candle smells when it's not lit so yeah these smell very nice I just adore the way these turn out oh my gosh they're so fall and festive and cozy and they they actually can translate very well over into Christmas as well but um I just made a limited edition like I said and I didn't want to overwhelm myself with a whole bunch of candles this year so um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and then we're gonna move on Okay, so um, this is the finished product here. I'm going to do the Velvet Vanilla off camera just because you're pretty much, you'll be looking at the same thing. But, um, and I didn't tie these tight. I try not to tie them tight because I don't want you to have to struggle to get it off when you get it to your house or whatever you have it delivered to. Um, I'm thinking I'm on the fence here about how I'm going to do uh, these just because... I don't want to tie untie the bows. The bows are so perfect. So I'm just thinking like how do I want to affix these where I don't have to um, untie the bows. But I feel like I'm going to have to. I do have, I really would not like to do rubber bands. I do have some clear rubber bands but they're like pink and pale blue. And You know what? I might have some yellow ones. Hold on. See, this is exactly why I don't try to be tidy. <laughs> well, organized, I say. Because I call myself organizing. I lose stuff. Um, I have no clue where those are. No clue at all. None. Not a single clue. So I'm going to have to untie these ribbons. Boo. But um, I actually, I know some of you are probably like, well, why didn't you do this first? Because I wasn't certain what I wanted my labels to look like. I didn't know if I was going to have um, labels that were going to be sticky that go on the top or die cut or what. I just wasn't sure. So that's why I didn't do them in advance. But um, this is not going to take me long. I'm just going to trim that up because I kind of fray the ends. And we don't want raggedy bowls. No ragged bowls around here. So I'll show you what that looks like up close. And then we will move it along. But so adorbs, right? Love it. Okay. Okay, doke. So I'm getting down to the last two candles that I need to put the labels on. So if you're new to handmade anything, um, now I just want to kind of explain why handmade items are priced the way that they are. From any maker's perspective, you already know what I'm about to say. Um, you already know what I'm about to say. So a lot of thought. If you really care about your brand and you you know care about the, the appearance of your brand 
um, you put a lot of thought. I mean, a lot of thought. It's a lot of errors. It's a lot of uh, <laughs> soul searching. It's a lot of tears. <laughs> it's a lot of tedium. It's just a lot of little fine tuning of everything that goes into handmade products. You know, our things are not mass produced. Um, we do these um, on a small scale. And even if you are cranking out, say, three to five hundred orders a week, that's still small scale, you know. So you still put those personal touches, and even if you have like a bigger one, but it does get harder, you know. But when it's just you um, creating these products, you know, you take the time to source the ribbon, to match the vessels, to create the labels. Um, labels are my nemesis. I hate making labels. I know how to make them very well. I just don't like making them. I put a lot of thought into what type of label I want to put on here, how it's going to look, you know, the uh, way the finished product is going to look. All of the testing that goes into these products to make sure that you guys are getting a quality product. The inspection before it's shipped to you. You have to take all those things in consideration and we do the best that we can you know especially being in my case a one woman show um a lot of people think that gabe helps me out in my business um full-time he doesn't because gabe works a lot and so does hunter so most times it's just me when i get off of work my day is basically i get up um before the birds most times you know five o'clock I'm up and dressed and heading out the door to go to work to start my day which consists of because I do if you don't know me um your first time watching my channel I do have a day job so I work 10 to 12 hours a day and then I come home and my studio is in my home so I come home and I pack orders or when I have release, I create until bedtime. So I do this seven days a week. On the weekends, I am working my business, uh, Royal Appleberry and Paper Moon. Paper Moon is my candle company. Um, I am working this business uh, sometimes 15 to 17 hours a day on the weekends to try to get everything that I can get done. Um, and then I crash in bed and get up at the butt crack of dawn and do it all over again. So, um, do I love it? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's why I continuously come back and do this over and over again because I do love it. But a lot of thought, energy, time, heart, soul, love goes into these products. And that's why they are priced the way that they are priced because they are not mass produced. They are single handedly made by an individual. Um, and we are making these products to assure that you are going to get a great quality product. So that's why you may, like some people may say, well, why would I pay X amount for one bar of soap? Well, because we have sat and we thought about the ingredients that are going to go in here. We try to tailor it to all skin types or certain skin types, depending on the soap that's being made. Um, it's just a lot of thought and love, you know, that go in these pro uh, products. And for, like I said, for me, my thought process is always, um, would I buy this? When the product is finished, my thought process is always, is this something I want to buy? And if I say no, I'm definitely not going to try to hand it off to you. So with that being said, I just want to talk about why, you know, um, pricing is the way that it is for handmade products. Um, handmade products may not be for everybody, you know, but for those of you who do choose to buy first, Thank you so much for supporting my small business. It is so greatly appreciated to me. Um, I just, the love that you guys give me is just overwhelming. And I am so truly grateful always. I will never stop saying that I am grateful for the love that you give because I always am. So now I am going to clear all this stuff off and then we are going to get to the soaps. And you're going to see the project that I've been working on that I am so very proud of that I put love. I mean huge amounts of love into this product for you all okay now, so i am back <laughs> i have to show you these i just adore these so much these are my most favorite um out of my entire lineup these little pumpkins oh my gosh look how adorbs they are so stinking cute and i love the pour on them so 
you will see these in my shop right now. Well, these, these right here. I'm wrapping them to go in my shop. Um, they smell so good. They're a version of pumpkin, but it's green pumpkin. So it's like an apple and pumpkin and it's like a fresh crispness to, crispness to it. They smell so good. And then the little stem is a little, um, clove butt. So you will get to see me make these, but I just had to come in and show you these because I love them so stinking much. Oh my gosh, I love these. Um, I do plan to make more if I'm going to make them um, because pumpkins go over into November, right? But if I do uh, plan to get more in the store, then I need to make them this coming week. It's going to be a little tough, but I'm going to try my best. So, uh, what I'm doing here, this is my label that I made. I'm sitting, so the uh, angles might be a bit weird. Because I got a lot to do, and I'm not trying to burn out my knee <laughs> before I even get started. So, I just take my handy dandy hole puncher here, and then um, punch a little hole. Right there. So, that's where the tag's going to go. And then I have this little doohickey here. This right here is for crocheting and knitting. Um, it's kind of like a yarn or spool spool holder or whatever. So I just use this for my strings um, that I need to, you know, use to cut whatever. And also give you guys a tip that should help you out. So my tool, which is here, I have a stiffer tool. This one here. I don't know if you can do it with the softer tool, but this is a stiffer one. If you have a guillotine cutter like a paper cutter, the one with the arm that slides, like slices down. Um, that's how I cut these. I just measure out what I need and put it there like it's paper and give it a good old slice. So, um, it works perfectly. So I'm just gonna take these. I'm trying to stay in frame, but it is so hard with me sitting down, y'all. But um, I'm gonna just take this, fold it up, and they give it pinches on the sides. And there you have it. Now, the clove butt is not jammed into the soap you know, to the point that you can't get it out. They're just lightly sitting on top of um, the soap so you can easily pluck it out right before you go to use it. So if during transition it's a bit jostled, I don't think they'll come out, but if they do, that's the reason why. It's just for decoration, not for use. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my little label through there, through the hole. Just like that. I'm gonna try to move up so you guys can see. It's hard to do this stuff with gloves on. And my hands are clean, always clean. My guys, oh my gosh. So this is dried out season for me. <laughs> because I've washed my hands so much, you know, with touching my products and things like that. My hands are extra, 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 super duper dry right now. And I keep putting lotion on rinsing it off, putting it on, rinsing it off because I've washed my hands several times a day. But guys, my hands are just screaming at me right now because they're so dry, especially this one on the back. But um, yeah, so that is how it's going to come to you. Isn't that cute? I just love these little pumpkins so much. And they're, they're called, hey, they're pumpkin. So what you see on this table. I know you can't see them all, but what you see is all that I made. I made 16. So again, all of this stuff is limited edition. So if you want one, you better skip up a lot over there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I just wanted to show you guys some of the little things that I do to kind of prep these. Um, I mean, well, get them tidied up and ready to be shipped. Um, so yeah, a hole puncher is always handy if you can get yourself a Cricut, invest in one. I have the Maker. Um, it is just so worth it. Uh, I don't care which one you have. They're just so worth it. But the difference between the Air and the Maker, I believe that the Maker can cut more, more materials than the Air. But um, right now I'm just using it for, you know, paper. But yeah, a hole punch is your friend. Craft paper is your friend. Canva is your friend. <laughs> All of these things will help make your business so much easier, you know, to run. So I'm going to do a few more on film. And then because this angle is just so gosh darn weird for you all and everybody involved. <laughs> 
um i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest off camera like i said i'm just giving you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of what i do to prep for my releases and just my everyday run of my shop Actually, guys, I forgot I was going to put a little leaf with these. So let me pull some leaves out. Because I just think it'll be so stinking cute. Let's get some of these. Those are quite big. But does it matter? No, it does not. So I'm going to go ahead and take this same hole punch. Punch a hole in this leaf. And then line it up behind it. Okay, so I'm done wrapping up my little pumpkins and I just had to come back and show you guys because they are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I just can't get over how adorbs these are. Like, would you look at how stinking cute those are? Oh my goodness. I just love them so much and they smell so good. Every time I smell this, I just, I want to take a bite out of them. I know I say that about a lot of my uh, fragrances and soaps, but boy, this is a juicy little pumpkin. <laughs> And they are just so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. These make great little stocking stuffers or addition to baskets or just some for yourself because they are just too adorbs. And I just love the colors on these. So, yep, I got them all wrapped up. All these little cuties are ready to go home. A lot of them are already sold. I just need to wrap them so I can get them inside their orders. But um, we do have some left, so if you're interested, be sure to head over to my shop, which is in the link in the description box below. All right, so let me move this out of the way and on to the next. Okie doke, so I am back, and this is what I have been working on for the past three months, and I am so very proud of this collection that I put together. So this collection is called the Cozy Autumn uh, Pamper Set, and you get seven pieces in this set, and I curated this to work in an order. So when you have time to treat yourself or you go on a uh, little getaway or if you want to give it to someone as a gift, you know, for them to treat themselves, then this is how it works. So what you're going to get, you're going to get the little card detailing, you know, what you're going to get in your set. So you'll get um, a two ounce maxi tea light candle. Um, I'm sorry, a 1.5 Maxi Tea Light Candle. And this is a soy candle here. And this collection is the Vanille Fresh. And, um, I just, this is, I think, out of all of this, I have four. There's four different pamper sets. But I think this one is my number one. And then there's one that follows closely behind it. So, you get the little Maxi Tea Light Candle here. You also get, um, a clay mask. So, in here is loose bentonite and French green clay powder. So, when you open this, open it like I'm holding it, you know, because it is very full. I want to give you your money's worth. So, what you do here is just the dry clay powder. You scoop out, and I mean, you need very little, honestly. So, you can get a little bowl and a little spoon about this big shall do. You know, put a little bit... Uh, scoop a little bit out, add a little bit of water, mix it around. You can use your fingers, you can use a makeup brush, whatever you have to smooth it over your face. Put that on your face, let it dry. And then, I'm going in the order of this system the way you should use it. So, you're going to light your candle because you want to set the mood. 
you can grab yourself a drink or play some good music or whatever lock the doors lock the kids and hubbies out the boyfriends or girlfriends whoever just this is a you time pamper box so light your candle and then you want to put your mask on your face you want to rub your <laughs> rub your <laughs> You want to run your water in your tub. And if you don't have a tub, don't worry, boo. I got you covered. So the next thing you're going to do for your tub or grab yourself a foot spa. If you don't have a foot spa, you can just take a little bucket and put your feet in it. Put some warm water in there or uh, however temperature you like it. And then you're going to put in your pink salt into it. And you put the desired amount in there. And this is fragrance in vanilla fresh as well. Um, so you dump as much as you like in there and you can soak your feet or you can put your whole body in that tub, sit and relax, okay? So once you've done uh, relaxing and reading a book and sipping your wine and singing a couple of songs, you wanna grab your bar. This is our vanilla fresh uh, bar of soap here. My camera is just doing the most. So <laughs> this is the way that it comes. Like I said, I put a lot of heart and soul into this collection, and I'm very, very proud of it, and I hope that you guys like them too. This is actually an order that is going to Miss Lacey. Um, so yeah, you grab your soap, and you lather up your loofah, or your towel, or your scrub gloves, your exfoliating gloves, whatever you use. Lather yourself up nicely, and then cleanse your body. Once you're done cleansing your body, you're going to step out of your tub, or your foot spa you're going to pat yourself dry and then you're going to go ahead and grab nope after that you're going to rinse your face yes rinse your face rinse your clay mask off and once you uh re-wet your clay mask because it's going to dry down to like a, a nice smooth finish um once you wet your clay mask Take your fingers, the pads of your fingers, and gently rub in circles on your face to lightly exfoliate and fluff off that dead skin. Once you're done doing that, you want to rinse your face thoroughly and then pat that dry. So then I made a Vanilla Fresh body cream. Um, if you can tolerate a cream on your face, you can use this on your face or use a cream that you would like. Um, a little bit goes a very, very long way. So this is the cream. It is light and airy and fluffy. And you can uh, put this all over your body. Put it on your face. Put it on your hands. Wherever you like. You can even drop this in your purse to go with you on the go. Whenever you want to, you know, put some moisture to those hands. Because, guys, I'm telling you, dry hand season is among us. Because my hands are super duper dry. And then, once you're done rinsing your face and you've moisturized your whole body, next you want to go ahead and take our Soft Kisses. And this is um, flavored in buttercream. You want to, this is our lip exfoliant. Take a pea sized amount right there. And this is made with sugar and sunflower oil, flavor oil. That's it. And you want to put that on your lips. Oh, nope, cocoa butter. Missed that. Put that on your lips. Rub your lips together to fluff off that dead skin. Once you feel like your lips are nice and smooth, you can go ahead and eat the rest of that off. Or you can rinse it off however you choose. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and take our lip balm. Our uh, Soft Kisses lip balm and smooth it across your lips. And look at that. You've had yourself a full spa day. So that's what comes in that package. Um, I guess I really tried to think about this as a system, um, a way that you can have yourself a little pampering day. That's why it's called the Cozy Autumn Pamper Box or Pamper Set. And um, just relax, you know, take some time out for yourself. Have some me time, girl. Have some me time, boy, you know, because this can be male or female. If you want to give this to your man, whatever you would like to do, you can definitely do that. So this is yours, Miss Lacey. Thank you so much for... Uh, being the first person to grab one of our pamper sets, I am so, so grateful to you, as always. So now I'm going to go ahead and package Lacey's little set here. Now the, the, the little paper here, well the shreds here, I only have so much of that. I'm going to try to extend it out as much as I can. But however, if I do run out, trust and believe that your package is going to be just as stellar as this one. No worries. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And then I'm going to grab 
my little strip here, my bedazzled strip. And that's going to seal it up. I just love these boxes so, so much. And I hope that you guys like them as much as I do because I really had so much fun creating them. Um, it is a lot of work. As you can see, there's a lot of products here. But, um, and all of these products, I guess a little bit goes a very long way. So, um, even though they're mini size besides the soap and the, the salt soak, these will go a very long way, trust. Um, will I be making more anytime soon? Absolutely not. <laughs> it was struggles, but I'm going to be keeping it real, y'all. It was struggles, Bill, for me to create this. It took three months because, again, I'm still working my day job, which is 10 to 12 hours a day. So, I was just like, woo, ciao. But I did it, and I'm very happy that I did. But, um, the next fall, I mean, the next collection, like a set like this, will probably be in the summer. So, um, here's Lacey's card, and she has a little sunflower on the back, and that is for her, and then we're also going to put the detail card in here telling you what's in your package and how to use it. Well, it doesn't really tell you how to use it. I told you how to use it, but, um, on my website, it does tell you exactly in which order to use it. So, matter of fact, I don't like it like that. I'm going to put it like this. There we go. I just adore these. <laughs> I really do adore these also very much. And I just wanted them to be nice and festive for the the season. Autumn, for those you don't do not, do not know. Autumn and summer are my two most favorite seasons. I do not like winter at all. And spring, I always feel like when you live in Michigan, spring, you get a little bit cheated. So I don't even really consider spring because most of spring is ate up by winter feel weather. And then the rest of the season is right into summer. So I don't really pay too much attention to spring, but autumn, just the smells and the colors and just all of it just puts me in such a good mood. Although um, I don't feel like Michigan autumns are very long because again, they kind of get ate up by winter very quickly. But um, yeah, I just, I love it. I do love it. Like I said, the colors just get me every single time. So this is how the collection boxes will come. There you go. Isn't that adorbs? I just love this so much. So, Miss Lacey, again, thank you. This is your package, and it will be shipped out today. Even though it's Sunday, I am going to go to the post office and drop off a few packages because I am currently packing things up. So, I'll give you a peek into um, what the other ones like. Okay. In every single set, you're going to get the face mask, the candle, the lip scrub, the lip balm, um... You get all of the uh, the extra items. The only thing that's different is the fragrance is going to be different. And uh, the soap is going to be different for each box. So, the next one that I have is... We have the Cozy Nights. Which, you'll like I said, you'll get all the same items. Um, but this one, you get this beautiful little fall or autumn cupcake. And this is so delicious smelling. I just can't even get over how amazing this smells. Um, the fragrance on this one is pumpkin cardamom. Oh my goodness gracious. It smells like I just would love to bite this. And please do not bite this. Because <laughs> this is not edible. It's not edible at all. So please do not bite this. But yeah. So um, the next one I have is. Let me go grab those. So we also have birchwood and vanilla. Now, with this one, um, this is, I wish I could show you, but if you check my website, you can see what it looks like. It's black, red, and white, and it is so beautiful. I love that. But this is not my my second favorite. This one here, this cupcake here, is my second favorite out of uh, the collection right here. This is Warm Fig and Sugar. And this is a beautiful little cupcake that you get with it, the soap cupcake. These are not real cupcakes again. They're soap. The entire thing is soap. Now, you may ask, how do you use a soap cu cupcake? So you can just take it, unwrap it, chop it in half, 
and it fits perfectly in your hand and the flat side is good for washing with if you are the type of person who just uses the bar you can rub it on your skin that way or um, it's good for you know your towels your exfoliant gloves however you decide to cleanse your body that's how you use it and now you got two so yeah that is the collection I am so very proud of it um, we have a lot more things that I made for the fall um, the fall release like I said we do have the pomegranate wax melts we have the candles we have a bunch of um, oldies but goodies that return so uh, all of her glory is back um, royalty is back peonies and poshness is back um, spearmint patchouli is back we have quite a few things going on here so be sure to pop over to my website and grab yourself up some treats for the fall or these will make really really great gifts for the holiday seasons that are coming up so guys so that is all I'm gonna get to packing orders just because I have a lot a lot a lot a lot to do and um, I just want to kind of come in and give you guys a sneak peek or just kind of like a little bit of behind the scenes of what I do when I get ready for my releases once my releases have been listed or go live so love hugs and kisses be awesome and amazing everything you do thanks for hanging out with me i truly appreciate it there will be a video on wednesday i'm going to try my best to get up on wednesday um thank you for your patience during this release i normally ship my orders out within three to five business days um and it should take about that um even if you get to the five day mark at five days i'm going to try to get it out as quick as possible please allow me two weeks to get your orders out but i really just don't see it taking that long because i'm going to work my hardest to get everything out within a timely um a timely manner so um be sure to give a thumbs up thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next making video bye